metals find use in large buildings, aircraft, automobiles, cookware, coins, jewellery, musical instruments, etc. The varied usage of metals stems from their sources. It thus becomes important to know how we obtain these metals. Metals are extracted from metal ores found in the earth. The process used for obtaining pure metals from their ores is known as metallurgy. Metals are mostly found in the earth's crust. Reactive metals such as sodium, aluminium, zinc and iron exist in combined forms as compounds. Less reactive metals like gold, silver, platinum and copper exist as free elements in the earth. However, copper and silver also exist in combined states. The natural materials in which metals are found in the earth's crust are called minerals. So, is it possible to obtain a metal from any mineral? The answer is no. Some minerals contain a high percentage of metals and thus can directly be used to obtain pure metals. These are called ores. Some common examples of ores include rock salt, bauxite, pyrolusite, calamine, hematite, cuprite and cinnabar. However, ores contain a significant amount of impurities called gang. The various kinds of impurities present in an ore are soil, sand, rocks, mica and limestone. These impurities are first removed in order to obtain metals in their purest forms. We can therefore say that all ores are minerals, but all minerals are not ores. The process of obtaining metals from their ores is called extraction. Extraction depends on the physical and chemical properties of a metal. In general, a metallurgical process consists of three main steps concentration or enrichment of ores, conversion of concentrated ore into metal and refining of impure metal. Let us talk about them one by one. The first step is the concentration of the ore. Concentration refers to the process of removing impurities from the ore. Ore concentration is also known as dressing or enrichment of ore. Let us understand how these impurities are removed. At first, the ore is crushed into small pieces and ground into a fine powder. Impurities of the ground ore are then separated using physical methods such as gravity separation, magnetic separation, froth flotation or chemical methods. After the removal of impurities, the concentrated ore is extracted. This mainly involves the reduction of metal compounds present in the ore. The reduction method in turn depends on the reactivity of the metal. The ores of highly reactive metals such as potassium, sodium, magnesium and aluminium cannot be reduced by simple reduction. These metals are extracted through electrolytic reduction of their molten chlorides or oxides. Moderately reactive metals such as zinc, iron and lead are present mostly as sulphides and carbonates. Some of the less reactive metals present at the bottom of the reactivity series such as copper and mercury are also found in the form of their sulphides. These are extracted by the process of roasting or calcination. The metals obtained as a result of the reduction process are impure and must be purified. The final step in metallurgy is to purify the impure metal. The process of purifying metals is called the refining of metals. Thus, metallurgy involves a variety of processes depending on the reactivity of metal to be extracted. Let's recall what we have learnt about metallurgy. The metallurgy process consists of three major steps. One, 
ore concentration or enrichment, ore conversion to metal and impure metal refining. The concentration of the ore refers to the process of removing impurities from the ore. The extraction of metal from the concentrated ore is the next step after the impurities have been removed. Highly reactive metals can be extracted electrolytically by reducing their chlorides or oxides. Metal carbonates and sulfides are first converted into their corresponding oxides before being reduced to metals. Metals with low reactivity are extracted by simply heating their oxides. In the final step, the metals are refined.